On April 19, 1999, Tacoma Power began releasing a continuous flow of 62 cubic feet per second from Cushman No. 2 Dam into the North Fork of the Skokomish River. The river reached from Cushman No. 2 Dam downstream to the first significant tributary at McTaggart Creek benefits from stable flows of cool, well-oxygenated, quality water. The purpose of this video is to document the current habitat conditions and fishery activity in the North Fork from Cushman No. 2 Dam to its confluence with the South Fork. This video was shot on the North Fork of the Skokomish River on October 27th and 28th of 2003. The Skokomish River is located in western Washington state. The North Fork Skokomish River flows approximately 8.3 miles from Cushman No. 2 Dam downstream to the confluence with the South Fork of the Skokomish River. Significant features along the North Fork include the USGS gauges at River Mile 16.5 and River Mile 10.1, Little Falls at River Mile 15.6, McTaggart Creek at River Mile 13.3, and Richards Ranch at River Mile 10.1. The eight plus miles of river include an upstream canyon segment, an alleviated mountain valley segment, and a lower valley plain. The geomorphic processes, geology, gradient, and hydrology that shape the river and stream bed below Cushman No. 2 Dam are both fixed by geology and influenced by the flow releases from Cushman No. 2 Dam. The current stable flow release of 62 CFS of water results in a mean annual flow of about 65 CFS as measured at the upper USGS gauge after picking up additional side flow. During a rainfall event on October 20th of this year, flows as high as 115 CFS were recorded at the upper USGS gauge. There are numerous sources of side flows that enter the North Fork, the most significant one being McTaggart Creek. This flow from McTaggart Creek into the North Fork is approximately 70 cubic feet per second. During the rainfall event on October 20th of this year, flows in excess of 3,300 cubic feet per second were recorded at the USGS gauge River Mile 10.1. On this section of the stadia rod is a piece of black tape depicting a depth of 0.8 feet, the minimum preferred water depth for Chinook salmon spawning and migration. This reference will be used in this video to demonstrate adequate water depths. Here at River Mile 15.7, just upstream from Little Falls and approximately two miles downstream of Cushman No. 2 Dam, the river channel is characterized by steep bedrock walls with few inputs of properly sized gravels. Although this pool and riffle are appropriate for Chinook spawning with depths of 0.8 feet and greater and velocities between one and three feet per second, it lacks the required sizes of gravel substrate. This is characteristic of the North Fork downstream of the dam to Little Falls. Although some slide areas and channel avulsions contribute some spawning gravel, spawning habitat is limiting in this reach. However, large deep pools and complex features such as boulders and bedrock formations provide potential excellent rearing habitat for juvenile salmon. At River Mile 15.6, approximately two miles below Cushman No. 2 Dam, is an obstacle to upstream fish passage known as Little Falls. The listed salmonid species of the Skokomish River have different capabilities to pass barriers depending on their size, their physical condition, and their origin. If the juvenile fish originated from above Little Falls, they would have more desire to ascend the falls and return to their birthplace to spawn. Physical features such as fall height and pool depth at the base of the falls determine whether fish can pass. Here the fall height ranges between 5 and 7 feet with a pool depth of 12 to 17 feet deep. These physical conditions at the falls, however, may be altered by slide events, debris jams, and bed load movements. Currently, some fish are passing these falls and spawning upstream where gravels are adequate. Here we are on the North Fork Skokomish River. Right now we're looking at 60, 62 CFS. Very few streams come into the channel between here and Cushman No. 2 Dam located 2.3 miles upstream. We're about a half a mile below Little Falls and just getting ready to exit the canyon reach. From this point downstream, we notice that gravel deposits start to make themselves more prevalent and available for spawning fish. As we move downstream, the channel begins to widen and more of these types of areas will become available for fish to spawn.
Here we are at River Mile 14.9, about a thousand feet downstream from the exit of the North Fork Skokomish River Canyon. As you can see, the channel morphology here begins to broaden quite dramatically. We start to see more spawning riffles, we get more pool habitat, we get more side channel formation, accumulations of large wood debris, which provide excellent cover for spawning and juvenile fish. Behind me, we have a pretty classic example of a spawning riffle. The conditions here are appropriate for chum, coho, and chinook salmon. In the North Fork Skokomish, both spring and surface water fed side channels and pools provide rearing habitat and cover for juvenile fish and spawning habitat for returning adults. Areas such as these are plentiful throughout the entire river, particularly below Little Falls. McTaggart Creek, the North Fork's largest tributary, enters at River Mile 13.3, approximately the halfway point between Cushman No. 2 Dam and the confluence with the South Fork Skokomish River. McTaggart contributes substantial flow and sediment in the form of gravels to the lower four miles of river. Spawning and rearing habitat are plentiful in this reach. Broad riffles contain quality gravel, adequate depths and velocities to provide spawning habitat for adult salmon, including Chinook and Chum. Here a salmon spawns in a side channel braid near the wet crossing, approximately one third mile downstream of the McTaggart Creek confluence. In this reach of river, adequate water depth velocities, and gravel substrate are available for all species of salmon that utilize the North Fork Skokomish. At approximately River Mile 10.1, at the lower USGS gauge located at Richards Ranch, the North Fork enters a wide valley bottom where the river is no longer confined and channel gradients flatten. Today, flows at this gauging station are 140 cubic feet per second. A concrete river crossing exists at Richards Ranch. At this flow during the fall adult salmon migration, adequate passage depths are present across much of this crossing. The habitat required for successful chum spawning consists of a minimum depth of 0.6 feet, velocities ranging between 0.75 feet and 3.25 feet per second, and the proper gravel substrate. This lower valley segment contains all of these key spawning habitat features. In this river, adequate water depth, velocities, and gravel substrate are available for all species of salmon that utilize the North Fork Skokomish. Tacoma Power would like to thank you for taking this opportunity to view the current habitat conditions in the North Fork Skokomish River. <laughs>